So today we're back on track. We're going to start working on the trailer again. The uh, last four or five days have been pretty wild. We had uh, the total eclipse here in uh, hometown. And uh, so now that uh, it's uh, Tuesday and everybody is pretty much on their way home, uh, we're going to pick up where we left off. So with that, we're going to do some wiring today. We're going to try to uh, get most of our lights connected and get them try to try to get tested by by tonight. But we'll see how far we get. So with that, let me show you what we're working on right now and uh, how we're going to do things. So to start with, we're at the front of the trailer and uh, let me get out of here. This is where we're going to start. So trailer lights. I have a uh, grommet right here which goes all the way through the floor and uh, our wires are going to come out here and connect to these four posts and then I have a grommet here on the back which from the tongue we're going to run our uh, uh, trailer wiring and we're going to run through here and connect those together and there's a lid that goes on here fastens down and keeps this all nice and waterproofed and I will probably seal this grommet up so no moisture or anything can get in there and uh, corrode everything. So that's the start. There's where the grommet comes down to the floor. We're going to run our wires up and we're going to go through these looms right here, which are all underneath like this. And then we're going to go through that grommet there. From there, we're going to run it up here and grommets under the counter and, or looms right here and another grommet under here and all the way across and we'll go down shoot another grommet there come under all these looms here and then shoot through this back cabinet here where we will make our connection up here on this post here I have a cover that will go over that and uh, protect the wiring so nothing touches it and shorts it out and then from there we've got another hole that will run through there and then we'll begin tying all of our lights together for that I have my little 15 inch distribution blocks which are these uh, little bad boys here they're each one independent so I can wire all my yellow and white and brown and green and then these will mount on the side some, somewhere like this something something along that point and uh, from our terminal block in here we'll run the wires back and connect to each one of these which these wires will be connected to and from there we'll run a jumper over to these lights back through to the marker lights on the front and we're going to do that all the way around and once these lights are connected here then they'll run up in here go to the cabinet come out somewhere up top here connect to the the marker lights on each side and then we'll run to the front another grommet here run that to these marker lights on the front so a lot of holes a lot of grommets a lot of wiring to run but uh, once it's all connected, hopefully I can hook a battery to the front, snap a wire to it, and boom, let there be light. So that's what we're at right now. So let me run some, uh, I'm ready to run some trailer wiring. Let me get that in there from the front junction box back to the terminal here, and uh, then we'll start wiring all of our posts together. Stay tuned. So we have our wires come out, and now we've got them all connected on our terminal block. And uh, once we get the pigtail from the tongue back here, then we'll run it through the grommet back here, and we'll tie them into the matching colors. And I'll probably, most likely, put a ground wire about right here. And uh, we can keep that short, so I can run all my wires under here, and then take one ground wire and bring it in here and make it a nice heavy gauge and uh, then we'll be grounded to the chassis. 
Okay, and then we've got the inside. So we have the wire coming through the floor. And of course we've got it running on all of our cabinets here. Back into the grommet, through the grommet, back there, coming up through here, all the way under the counter, back into a grommet here, out, running under our, our bench, coming into here, and then, let's see, get that zoom back out, I keep hitting the zoom button, sorry about that, and then from there, goes into our terminal block. And then once all the wires are connected there, then that will be shielded by this nice cover. So that's the idea. Now we're gonna install our small distribution boxes next to each one of our wires that are coming in here. So from this terminal block, I will run the red, white, and black wire to here, then from there, black and white to this one. Then those lights will be tied in, and I'll do it to the same on this side. <laughs> and then I just run a black and white from here, loop it all the way around, up and over, and tie it into the uh, marker lights on top. And uh, also I'll do the same on the front. Okay, well, that's where we're at right at the moment. Stay tuned. So the next step is uh, to install and wire our uh, distribution box. So I have one of those under each light that's coming in, marker lights and tail lights. Uh, top and bottom on each one. That's going to make wiring easy. And I've got them both on each side back here. Just like so. So when I go from my terminal block here, I'll run to this block, and this block will go to this block, this block will go to this block, this block will go to this block. Then from my terminal block, I'll go to this distribution box, and I'll go to this one, and that'll run all the way around, all the way to the top for the two that I have back here. Now if I decide, which I do have the lights now, if I decide to put more across the top, then I'll probably use two more distribution boxes, and uh, the same on the front. If I run three lights, I'll need two more distribution box, and we can call that good. So we're getting closer. Now I just have to run some black and white and a little bit of red wiring and uh, wire those bad boys in. Sweet! So we've got our wiring run from the uh, front of the trailer to the back. And it comes in under here into the uh, terminal box right there. And then left and right wires and ground all go to their uh, distinctive distribution box, white and black, going to the marker lights on each side. Just like that. <laughs> and then, we're going to come around the front. And before I hook up any other lights, I'm going to test it. So before I do that, I need to hook up a ground. So I have a length of wire here, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, connect that. And I've got an area that's all cleaned off, so that's going to go on here like this, and run up into my box here and tie into the ground portion. And then uh, I think I'll set up some test leads and uh, try them out, see if the lights work. Okay, with any luck, we'll have lights. Okay, so I spent the day running some wires, getting all my grommets in, getting my uh, little wire looms up there so I can run the wires through my little, my little, uh, I don't know what you call those things. Stick the wires through. Wire holders. 
anyway, um, I don't have all the marker lights hooked up. I do have uh, the bottom and the back lights hooked up, I think. So let's try it out. Okay, Jack, hit it. Boom, look at that. We've got lights. <laughs> We've got lights. It's alive. Nice. And we got one on this side. Nice. Try uh try the green one. How about the yellow one? And the brown one. Boom. There we go. That's the parking and, the, and then we had the right turn and the left turn. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, tomorrow we'll hook up the rest of the lights. I think Jack's having a little too much fun there. And uh, we'll try it out again. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.